okay uh, well uh, okay well uh, just to have seen different types of planes this is sagittal plane mid sagittal and para sagittal plane we have seen this is the frontal plane transverse plane oblique plane we have seen so in the oblique plane when we cut organs through these planes the resulting flat surface is termed as sections so uh, transverse or cross-sectional plane gives uh, transverse or cross-sectional section uh, sections so plane gives a section for instance frontal plane gives frontal section transverse plane gives transverse section and oblique plane gives oblique section and transverse plane gives uh, transverse section so the body plane is this the body plane uh, this is the frontal plane this is the frontal plane this is the median plane uh, this is a transverse section plane uh, and this is different types of planes and sections sagittal plane this is sagittal plane this is a median plane and uh, median plane works for different parts this is median this is median so this is frontal coronal plane divides the back, back and front this is a, a median or frontal plane this is transverse plane or axial plane this is transverse plane axial plane this is a frontal plane by the way uh, it works for different types of bodies so this is sections for instance this body is divided into left and right so we can say longitudinal section we can say longitudinal section this is divided into superior and inferior so we can say this is transverse section uh, this is uh, oblique uh, oblique part so we can say oblique section oblique section so body movement is uh, we, will, uh, we do have different types of body movements described based on three axes this is the first one is uh, a longitudinal or vertical planes or axes run from center of the head to the sole of the foot is perpendicular to transverse plane so movements which is found under longitudinal or vertical plane is the medial rotation lateral rotation supination pronation we will see the definitions later so transverse or horizontal axis means run from the right to the left side is perpendicular to the sagittal plane sagittal plane so movements which is found under transverse axis is flexion and extension so sagittal axis sagittal axis runs from the back to the front aspect of the body so movement which is found in the sagittal axis is uh, abduction and adduction this is towards the body this is away adduction is toward the, the body abduction is away from the body so uh, we will see different types of uh, body planes and movements when we uh, flex the neck we uh, this is a joint area so this is flexion when we front back when we flex forward flexion this is uh, uh, direction extension when we, we see at the mi at the back this is flexion this is the extension uh, this is extension this is flexion and uh, from this uh, when we consider this is uh, the joint area uh, when we come to this is flexion we come to this one is extension so this is flexion this is extension so this is extension so uh, towards the body it means adduction away from the body is abduction abduction rotation this one is uh, rotation uh, when we see this one is lateral rotation this one is medial rotation towards the body is medial rotation away from the body is the movement away from the body is lateral rotation when we say pronation p pronation p means rotating the forearm so the palm faces posteriorly so this is uh, known as pronation this is known as uh, supination supination so this is opposition